Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you are well and happy. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. This is Fatima Sabrin Shikha, assistant teacher of English, National Ideal English Version School, Morning Gym. Today I am going to take English first paper class for the students of class 8 on the topic, paragraph and dialogue. I am repeating. Today our topic is paragraph and dialogue. Students, this is lecture number 16 and homework number 11. I'm repeating our today's lecture is 16 and homework number is 11. Students, please take your notebook and writing elements. I'm going to discuss about these topics. So let's start. Students, first I want to start with paragraph. So I'm going to read the question. Write a paragraph on load shedding by answering the following questions. Question A. What does load shedding mean? What does load shedding occur? What problems does load shedding cause? What should we do to stop load shedding? So here for questions are given. You have to answer the paragraph. You have to write your paragraph by answering this question. Students, you have to give a suitable title. So here I have written load shedding as title. Load shedding means the discontinuation of supply of electricity. Load shedding occurs when generation of power is less than the demand and also for unplanned distribution of electricity. It creates problems of far-reaching consequences in the socio-economic development of a country. Houses, mills, factories, industries, shops, hospitals, all fall a victim to it. The running mills, factories, and industries come to a standstill. Failure of electricity hampers productivity. Domestic life becomes painful. The housewives grow in the darkness of the kitchen. The sufferings of the students due to load shedding bigger description. The patient also suffer terribly for load shedding. Operations are stopped. The food kept in the refrigerators got wetter. The commodities pre uh, preserved in cold storages get spoiled. In fact, load shedding causes great sufferings to the people and an irreparable loss of the country. The entire life, domestic and industrial, comes to a standstill, and all our efforts should be made to stop load shedding. So students, you can write uh, your paragraph by answering the question and you can add something about something more about the topic. But you have to follow the question. Now students, I'm going to talk about dialogue. Our question is, suppose Najib is your friend, both of you are in the same class. Though English is not your mother tongue, you have to learn English for many reasons. Now, write a dialogue between you and your friend about the importance of learning English. So, your friend whose name is Najim and you, uh, both of you will make a dialogue on the topic of importance of learning English. A dialogue between myself and my friend about importance of learning English. The uh, conversation starts with Najim. Najim asks, Hello Kamal, what are you doing? Myself, I'm reading an article about the importance of learning English. Najib says, actually English is essential in our every walk of life. And my, uh, myself says, it's an international language. It's must for higher education. Najib says, yes, all books of higher education are written in English and it helps a man to get a good job and to earn more money. And in reply, says it's the official or semi-official language in more than 60 countries and of many international organizations. So to maintain daily official correspondence, English is a must. As you says, right you are. In fact, the importance of English can't be described in words. And in reply, uh, myself, so we must have to learn English. And Najib says, yes. For our own benefit, we must have to learn English. Students, now come here. I have given 
some uh, more paragraph and dialogue. Paragraphs are a rainy day, a school library, traffic jam. And dialogues are importance of reading newspaper about future plan or aim in life, importance of early rising. Students, you have to memorize all this at home. Now, I'm providing homework for your vacation. Your homework will be paragraph or rainy day. Students, I'm repeating. Your homework for vacation will be paragraph or rainy day. And the submission date of your homework is 29th May 2021. After it, you have to submit your homework. Students, that's all for today. Hope you have understood to the topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.